Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mickey and today we are starting a new series called Overdrive. It's a mini series diving deeper in some EV topics that matter most to me. And well, by mini, I think I mean the episode should be shorter, but uh, I might do a lot of these. But nonetheless, a mini series where today we're talking about what veteran and Gotway slash Bagode can learn from a silly e-bike company like Onyx Bikes. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Thank you for watching that five second little silly video I put together. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about smart BMS. Now you might notice that I have behind me some unicycles here. I have the Gotway Nikola, which is my Nikola, and I have the uh, Gotway EXN here, which I know a lot of you are waiting for that review. It is coming soon. It is winter, I had sickness, yeah. Now one of the things that's been happening a lot lately in our community is fires. Now, a lot of people don't want to talk about fires, they're afraid of fires, they don't want to be associated with fires, but it's a real thing, it's been happening more often than usual in a short amount of time. This brings me to what we're talking about today, which is the smart BMS system and how being able to see your battery, have access to a smart BMS system will radically change how safe we can be on our electric unicycles. Same thing can be said for electric e-bikes or electric scooters or any other EV out there. So what I mean is, there are third-party apps and there are specific smart BMS that these companies can integrate into their machines, into their battery, into their whole system that will allow us to be able to see the individual groupings and or cells inside of our battery. Now, why is this important? Because as of right now, if you wanna see what is inside here, what is going on, the health of your battery, it's blind. The only way you can basically kind of see it is to get a little device out that can read your voltage and it basically just tells you what it reads at. But you can't actually see the health of your battery, you can't see is it balanced, is it unbalanced, like what is it doing? And this is a very big safety measure that I'm pushing for 2021 that I want all of our wheels to have inside of them. My good friend John Angel was a lot more about this topic than I do, and in fact a lot of what I know about it was because I was hanging out with him way too much. So I thought it'd be a really great idea to ride over and find John in the city. I think he's probably at Kung Fu Tea if I had to guess. So I'm gonna have him tell us a little bit more about why having a smart BMS in your electric unicycle will make it just that much safer going into 2021. here with John. What's going on, buddy? Good, man. Good. So John rides the Onyx bike, which I was talking about earlier in the video, which you can see here. So I want to talk a little bit about batteries and, you know, you and I have discussed a few things that would inform someone like me who's not as knowledgeable and people watching this video about mm -hmm. what the potential future could be for unicycles if we had battery tech like a silly company such as Onyx. Well, there's, there's actually, I'm going to start this off by saying that you got to think of this like sales. You know, there's what we think that people want, what they should have, but sometimes the things that people really should have, you have to sell it to them, even though it's in their best interest. So in this case, Onyx is the first company to put out a BMS that's accessible to the user. You can see your logs, your errors, your balancing, anything and everything about the battery the whole time. Not only does it do that, it's maintenance free. The battery completely takes care of itself whether it's in the bike or not, or whether it's char you know, being charged or not. And that's a huge thing. So if Unis had that, where Unis could see if there's a short, if there's an unbalanced cell, if there's a heat issue, or any kind of error, or at least know the healthy state of the battery, that's a game changer. And that's where I really think it's all gonna go for a lot of these vehicles, especially the Unis. Eventually, you're gonna be able to tap into your battery. But I think it's up to the companies that make the Unis to tell their customers, this is what you need, this is what we're gonna start doing, this is how much more it's gonna cost. I wouldn't look at the demand. I wouldn't wait for the customer to say, hey, we want this. Just give the customer what they really should have to begin with, and that's a better, better BMS. Yeah, so basically what we've seen a lot in the past uh, year or so, and especially in the last few weeks, are fires on these things. So a lot of it can, I think, really be prevented uh, if we had a better way of seeing our batteries. Right now, it's just kind of blind. We don't see anything about them. We just know they're there. 
And the best you can do is hook up uh, a meter to it and kind of see what the voltage is doing, but it'd be nice to just be able to just like not have to open the whole machine up and just look at it. So uh, maybe John, you can tell me a little bit more about like what that's all about. Well, with unis, you've got generally two packs, one on either side. What's interesting, and I did the math already, is you can actually have a single BMS run both packs. Oh, really? Technically speaking, in this Onyx right now, it's actually two packs of batteries stacked as one with a single BMS. So it doesn't, the BMS doesn't have to be on the battery. It can be anywhere else as long as the wires lead up. So I thought about the gauge, the length, the heat, everything. I mean, it's completely, completely possible. I thought about the braiding. It's all can be done. It's a huge, huge safety thing. It's really the only reason I don't have a uni. If there's a uni with a proper BMS, I'm buying it and I'm riding That's another uni. one. That's it, because there's no way I'm going to bring it into my house if I can't tell what's going on with that battery. So there are, there are some unicycles that have up to like four packs. So you think those can all still yeah. be under the same BMS? They can be under a single BMS, all four packs. And they don't even necessarily have to be in the battery? No, the BMS does not have to be in the battery. BMSs come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, uh, different amperage capacities and things like that, but they don't have to be physically attached to the battery. It could be a separate like control board stacked on top of the other board. Um, BMSs are really good in the sense that they don't actually need a lot of cooling. They can generate some good heat, but they're designed for that heat. So a really high-end BMS, you're not worried about it, you're worried about it heating something else up. But we're talking with a very powerful pack. But generally, your run of the mill, like this BMS in here, when I'm beating on this bike, maybe 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is nothing for this BMS. For me, it's a huge safety feature, but what are like maybe like the top three things that you maybe check daily, hourly, however often on your battery's health? Like what are the few things that you always are looking for? Well, one of the nice things is with these BMSs, you actually get email notifications. So the app is, constantly talking to the battery. That's if you want that, you can activate that. So even if you don't check it for a week, you can get notified of any kind of errors or shorts or anything that had happened. But what you're looking for is, what I generally see happen is people open up the app and they're just cu they're curious. They want to like, oh, that's how my battery's doing, cool. And maybe, maybe, maybe there's a problem, maybe, which is kind of rare with these batteries. Uh, they'll be like, oh, hey, there's a problem. Hey, John, what does this mean? Oh, that's nothing, that's a reset, that's this error, that's your charging. Oh, you must have not used the right charger. I mean, you can solve so many things when you can talk to the BMS. But just being able to look at it, you know, and the thing is you don't have to be a wizard. These things are laid out so easy to understand and, and the error messages are clearly spelled out as well too. But again, really, really rare. Generally when you have these kind of BMSs, you have a very well-constructed battery as well too. What's one of the main reasons why someone's battery might just combust or catch fire on its own? Well, number one, unis and Onyx RCRs are moving vehicles. Even though some of the unis and even though the Onyx has a suspension, it doesn't mean that the battery is not getting a beating. So maybe one of those weld spots in a single cell came loose. If it comes loose, if that little plate comes off and starts tapping around, you're gonna get this weird random fluctuation, but that also creates a short and it can also create an unbalanced cell boom, you've got a fire. So remember, these are moving objects and things are welded together. Is it possible that something can come loose? Yeah, it's really rare, but completely possible. I think unis have it harder because most of them don't have suspension, so the battery really is getting that brunt. But these batteries, if you stick them on a wall to do something else with them, they're gonna be fine. But these batteries are in moving vehicles that are hitting potholes, that are getting dropped, that are getting tossed around. So it really, really makes a difference. So the, if something were to short like that, the, can the BMS save it? Or is that, or what you're describing a little too far gone? No, that's far gone. If you have where there's a physical disconnect with a cell or a group of cells or something like that, you need to stop using that immediately. The BMS will tell you you have that. Like it'll say, hey, this is, you have a short, you have this, you have, you know, this issue. And that's the purpose of that BMS, is to tell you, hey, your stuff is messed up. You need to get off this right now. But at least now you know what your issue is and you can do something about it. You're not wondering what's wrong. You can go on to a chat and say, hey, my BMS said uh, it's shorting. Oh, okay, great. Keep that outside of your home. Take it to a battery person, find out your warranty, address the issue. Cool, so I'm gonna probably just pop over here and we'll open up the app so we can kind of see sure. what they look like and what we're looking at. Sure.
All right, so here is the AMP EMS app, and what's really cool about it is you can see the state of the battery, the percentages, your volts, your amps. So here's the battery charging at six amps. There's the watts. This field right here in the middle, this is showing the difference between the pack. So the cell difference is 0.3 on average, which is 0.003. It's an incredibly well-balanced battery. You've got your temperatures, and then out here, you can actually see your groups and how well-balanced they are. All right, so we are back from seeing John. Hopefully you have gotten a deeper dive into why having a smart BMS in your EUC or electric scooter or electric bike or whatever you're riding is gonna be a huge safety measure for you. Now obviously we talked about there's been some fires lately, so I would be remiss not to mention just some other small safety things you can do to prevent them. But I wanna get into a little anecdote first. So a few years back now, a good friend of mine Jorge, or Tupac as we call him, had a very big fire, a really massive fire in a really bad way. And you know what, let me just show you a clip of that right now so you can have a little context of what that's about. So let's roll that. No! 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 Get it away from the tree! Get away from the tree! Yeah. Well, I, I just want to get away from it. No, I was saying we don't want to breathe that in. Don't breathe that in. Don't breathe that in. No, I can't, I can't put any weight on it. I can't. Can somebody get his other arm? Yeah, I can't put weight on it. So that was a wildfire. Uh, thankfully, he's all healed up now. You know, it's, I think it's been like a couple of years, so he's really good to go. One of the things that having a smart BMS is going to offer you is not have to be in the position that he was in. So unfortunately he had a wheel that he purchased off of Lumo on AliExpress, which I don't recommend you do, but it's your money, you can do what you want with it. The big problem was they put aftermarket battery mods in there that were not sanctioned by Gotway at all and clearly not done well. And what had happened was basically one of the cells or grouping of cells was out of sync, was out of balance with the rest of the packs. And I think it's the magic percentage is like 10%. If it gets 10% out of whack, uh, this is when real problems start. So as you saw, he was riding and it caught fire while he was riding and he had no choice but to just hop off the back. Ended up breaking his leg. Uh, bad news all around, you saw with your eyes right there. So the reason why I wanna show you this is, this is one of the things that could happen to you. So number one, I'm pushing for 2021 and you guys should be too, that we all get a smart BMS system in every single wheel, whether that's a Gotway wheel, in motion wheel, king song wheel, veteran wheel. We need a smart BMS that we have access to. I think as of right now, even the best of the companies have a smart BMS, but we still don't have access to it. So we need a better one that we have access to, whether it's natively through their apps or through a third party app like the ones John showed us or even through EUC World or Darkness Boss. So I want to have access to all of those things at my disposal when I need it. The other thing is this, if you think you want to protect yourself against a fire, I've got over here some heavy duty fiberglass welding blanket cover things. Uh, I got a couple of these and it would be a good idea for you to lay them over your wheel at night or whenever you're storing it. And that's another way to just protect yourself from some potential blow up of a fire if something were to happen. But obviously this video is not about fire blankets. It is completely about smart BMS. So please join me in this year of 2021 of pushing all the manufacturers to get this integrated into all of our unicycles moving forward so that hopefully by 2022, every wheel moving forward will have it. So this is my big push. This is my 
deep dive into smart BMS. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've come away with some sort of knowledge. I hope you have um, just a bigger conversation to talk about with your friends and other people who ride in your community. And you know, if you have any disagreements or you have some other comments you want to talk about and start more discussion, the comments are right down below. So please feel free to hop in there and let me know what you think. Um, I like to interact with a lot of you all the time, so I might be able to you know, jump, jump into the conversation as well. But for now, I think this video is over with. It's probably a very short video, but it's a fun video. And it's a video I think that we're gonna be sharing around the internet to remind all of our friends that this is the big push for 2021. Get smart BMS in all of our wheels so that we can have access to the battery information. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me as I just came back. It's my first video back. Uh, I'm a little winded, I feel like now, because of COVID when I talk, so sorry about all that. <laughs> just how I feel. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that'll go away with time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, keep riding, never stop. Go ahead and go on social media or whatever channels you have to access these companies, and please write them very nice and informative letters and send them this video. Let them know what you would like to see in your unicycles moving forward in the way of safety. For me, this is the biggest safety feature of 2021 that we should all be pushing for. And I know all of you out there care about safety just as much as I do, in addition to speed and having a lot of fun and adrenaline. But more importantly, safety is always key. Look, as I say at the end of all my videos, to keep riding and never stop, that's true. I want all of you, myself included, to be riding until we physically can't anymore. I want that to be well into being over 100 years old and none of us should be stifled by having any kind of bad experience because we didn't understand what our batteries were doing.